Hi, Yachon Schloss from the Space Explorers. Well, as we are all at home due to Corona, not going diving, I thought it's a good time to make a few more videos. And um, I had so many people getting back to me about this um, oxygen rebreather topic. So there is um, um, a video on this channel, here's the link in the description, um, where I introduce the OMG Gastoro uh, C96 that I used to dive for a lot of years and it was my most favorite unit um, and also I mean I wrote a pretty extensive course for that and um, I see he's teaching that uh, till today and um, the problem with that unit was always that the support from the company was pretty bad let's say as it is with a lot of these um, companies that uh, primarily focus on um, the military as a customer, the private customers are normally not in their real focus. The other thing is that it was really expensive. And um, so at it, it, uh, some point we came up with our own rebreather. <sighs> Basically I have no time and no real interest in producing something like that. It's all so obviously a little bit of a liability thing. So we stopped that again. And so the issue was always, there's the program, there's people who want it, but uh, the availability of oxygen rebreathers is always an issue. So my Gastoro got stolen two years ago on a flight, so the box came, but there was nothing in it anymore. And obviously it was nobody's fault, so yeah, oxygen rebreather gone. And um, so I started to look around and obviously, I, first of all, I tried to order a new one from uh, OMG and they told me that they don't produce it anymore. Excellent, I was the distributor. I figured out it's not available anymore after I needed one and not like up front. So again, great service. And um, so I started to look for an, a different, um, different unit to substitute that. Here it is. And I want, uh, want you to, to to learn a little bit about that unit. It's basically a copy of the C96. It's a Sarnosub C96. Um, it is not CE approved, um, which doesn't hurt when you're breathing it. It's more a liability thing when, where, how to buy. Um, but nevertheless, I had a unit like that probably 10, 12 years ago, and I dropped it immediately because the quality was horrible it was just nothing you would want to have so um, they obviously learned a lot and the new unit is actually pretty nice it's not on the level that the Castoro C96 from OMG was or SEAL as the company is uh, is called today but it is a very very good alternative for a very very reasonable price and it's available so let's have a look at it so the concept is basically the same. They made a couple of small shortcuts. So here's the oxygen tank, which is a is a 2.5 liter um, tank with an integrated valve that has an um, SPG on it. It has the perch button where you actually shoot oxygen into the rebreather. There's an inlet um, for the for an inflator hose that then goes into the counter lung so that's very uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very compact unit and um, yeah the tank so then we have the rebreather itself um, so if you if you check the other video you will actually see that this is pretty much the same the same idea and um, let's open it up So we have again this kind of bag, which is uh, also a great protection for the counter lung itself. The lime canister is in the counter lung, which has quite a few benefits. First of all, it makes a very compact design. The other thing is that, um, as we all know, um, the chemical reaction in there is exotherm, so it produces heat. So having the counter lung, uh, the, or the absorbent in the counter lung actually makes for a very good reaction and uh, provides us with warm gas. We have the DSV here, which is 
basically the same design as it was on the OMG. This is all really nicely made, made from Delrin, so no real crappy plastic anymore. And um, the um, lime canister is a bit smaller than on the Gastoro C96. The original Gastoro has a 2.05 kilogram scrubber, which I always found very big. Um, so this one is quite a bit smaller, but meanwhile also really nicely done in stainless steel. Um, the, the first unit I had was like brass with chrome plating and the chrome came off and it was a really shitty made. So this is really nicely done. Um, has the Stellarin plug and I think it's 1.3 kilos or so. I have to look it up. I'll put it in the description. Um, yeah, so very well made. Um, really nice quality. There's obviously this so-called drool pad in there, in here. So as you um, as you see, there's no real water trap. So obviously you have always moisture collecting in there. So this is sucked um, in by this so-called drool pad, which you then remove after every dive. Um, the inlet is here on the side, as you can see. So that's the small inflator hose that then goes into the inlet of the tank. And that's how you inject your oxygen. Theoretically, you could obviously um, use the other side. Actually, that's, I don't know if you see that, it's like um, already prepared. You could put in a connector here for a um, O2 sensor if you want that. I personally don't like it on the oxygen rebreather. I think it takes a lot of the simplicity out of it. And um, yeah, so basically it's pretty much an exact copy of, uh, of the old Castoro. What for me was the main issue is the um, what for me the main issue was is that the original Gastoro came with a harness, a really really nicely well made harness that you could wear like a jacket, where you could plug in the rebreather. This is not available with this one, so um, it comes with a neck strap. So you basically hang it around the neck, and then you take a weight belt that you uh, put around your your waist and um, I found that super uncomfortable. Um, the units flapping around and then obviously you think about where do you put your weights. So you end up basically with a weight belt whilst on this jacket that came with the original Gastoro you had weight pockets in the back so you could actually place special lead plates in that uh, jacket, have it on your back and it was a really nice compact unit. So what I did is I took a stainless steel back plate added two pieces of weight here and modified it a little bit. Um, I think you can see that here. I just added these additional straps um, with the female buckles here and instead of closing it on the side I have these uh, female buckles also here on the side. So let me just see if I can demonstrate that. If I take that on I have the straps here and I have these straps here on the side and what I do is um, with the rebreather I can then just click it in here and then same thing here and suddenly I have again a very stable system I have my rebreather here I mean then obviously that goes here and I have it mounted in a proper way and I have the weight of the back plate, I have a stable system, nothing's flipping around and that makes it again for a very very comfortable unit. So if I'm like diving from a kayak, you may have seen these videos, um, I can still put the, the back plate on, on the kayak, go in the water, leave this on the kayak and then when I'm in the water I can grab it and plug it in same way when I'm leaving the water. I just open these buckles and um, can put this like on the kayak or on the boat and then I have only the back plate and that is easy to go along with. So um, I hope that gave you a, a little introduction into the system and uh, especially when you compare it to the old video. If you have questions please use the comment section also check out the Patreon site that's where we usually uh, discuss things in depth. 
If you're interested in this program or in the rebreather, please uh, drop me a mail. I'll put a link in the description as well how to contact me. And um, yeah, courses are available anytime after Corona, obviously. But um, this is available now. Courses are available now. And uh, I would be super happy if there's more people interested in this in this type of diving, also in combination with the kayak. I still do it a lot and I enjoy it a lot. And um, yeah, would be cool to see you in the water. Thanks for watching and stay safe.